Well, the World Health Organization provided an update on the outbreak earlier. And Oliver whitfield Mjocic is in Geneva and he says the WHO sees no reason why major events like the Mobile Technology Fair should be cancelled. Well, Isabel, the World Health Organization is of the view that actually mass public events should still take place as long as the organisers of these events put in extra measures such as risk assessments and extra cleaning measures as well as getting in touch with their local health authorities. Then, if they've got these risk management plans in place, there's nothing to say that events such as Mobile World Congress in Barcelona and the F1 Grand Prix in China should not take place. They say that everybody needs to remain calm and that actually the risk of infection outside of China is not that great. But it just goes to show the strength of fear around the novel coronavirus. The fact that this huge event, which was going to see 100,000 people fly into Barcelona to take part in it, had to be cancelled. And really, the writing was on the wall when big technology firms such as Amazon, Facebook, LG, Nokia began pulling out over fears that their staff could be at risk. Now, as well, on Wednesday here at the World Health Organization, 300 public health experts have been meeting to discuss ways that they can spearhead efforts to try and bring this outbreak under control. They've identified some high-risk strategies that they believe they need to do, such as those countries that are most vulnerable to infection. They've also discussed other ways that they can funnel their research and get funding forward. Now, earlier on, I caught up with a professor at the University of Oxford, who's a specialist in infectious diseases, and this is what he had to say about the threat that coronavirus poses. It's the biggest emergency I think we've faced in a very long time. It's been announced as a public health emergency of international concern for a good reason. We've seen you know, tens of thousands of cases in China, and that's an underestimate. We've seen the deaths exceed those we've seen for SARS, and we've seen transmission in, in many, many countries outside China. So it's a real threat to everyone. The interview clip there does sound quite doom and gloom, but the World Health Organization is keen to stress that if the world comes together, the, book, the public health authorities from across the globe, the public and private sector, as well as governments, then a solution can be found, but that the world needs to remain united in the face of this novel coronavirus. Oliver Whitfield-Mircic at the World Health Organization in Geneva.